you have learned to be parents. Because we see the children. You have learned to be grandparents. We can see them. To God be the glory. They have gone through a lot of transitions in life. Hard times, which we have roses and thorns. Marriage is not an institution only for roses. There are thorns as well and challenges. Marriage without wars and marriage where, where there are wars. Because there was a time when very well telephony marriage which is uh, very challenging. Amidst all this you have kept the vows. It is painful to us as clergy when our children do the wrong thing. But I'm so grateful this afternoon that Dwight Honorable Amama a son of a lay reader and Canon Jacqueline, a daughter of a reverend, Reverend Canon, they are, they are here to celebrate. They have done the right thing. We, as leaders, bishops, clergy, canonists, we are so grateful that we have our own children here with a testimony. You clap for us right now. And you are the one who has helped us to have that testimony. Now, use what they say, children of the clergy, children of the little readers. But today we can say, we have them, there is a testimony, 50 years in marriage, they are together, children of the ministers. You know it challenges us, we as ministers, who keep on blessing others. And we actually invite people in marriages when our, our own children are not really doing well. So I'm so happy for this. That's why all these people have come, including Omulangira Nachibinge. Omulangira Nachibinge is here for that. From Chibuli. So Omulangira to Sanzo Kulaga. We were a good Come Let me tell, share this with you. The psalmist. In Psalms 128, he says, Blessed is everyone that fears the Lord, that walks his ways. For you shall eat the labor of your hands. Happy shall be, and shall be well with you. The, the, your wife shall be as a fruitful vine, by the sides of your house. Your children like olive plants round, around your table. Behold, thus shall be the man who fears the Lord. The Lord shall bless you out of Zion and shall see the good of Jerusalem in the days of your life. You shall see your children and your children's children. You shall see your children and your children's children. Isn't this true with this couple? Praise the Lord. This psalm, which was written, as uh, some people say, by uh, uh, Hezekiah or somebody anonymous, but many scholars say it was written by David. It is known as a family song, a family song for gratitude, sung by David, which is really known Thank as a so psalm much. for family. It is known to be sung by the travelers, especially during the three ceremonies, Passover, Pentecost and Tabernacle. Passover, Pentecost and Tabernacle. This is when they used to sing this psalm for the family. So that people could really appreciate God for their families. 
The main theme is to focus in God's work through family. Focusing on God's work through family. It describes the wife and the children. This is about the one who fears the Lord. And he said, his wife is like a fruitful vine. Amen. Can only Jacqueline, you have been a fruitful vine. We can see the fruits. Uh, also, the children are like olive plants. And all these are known for they are beautiful flowers. The olive plant and also uh, the beautiful vine. And uh, you know, some of you have been to the Bagolese home. Uh, Kanoni Jacqueline loves flowers. Each time I visit them, I like those flowers. So I think this is, this is so true. He is a wife of like a fruitful vine and the children like olive plant, which he always produces good flowers, which you love so much. 50 years celebration is a time to publicly appreciate God for the gift of marriage. Publicly appreciate God for the gift of children. Publicly appreciating God for the gift of grandchildren. Pray the Lord. This is very important for us to know that when you bring God to be at the center of what you do, God will bless you. He blesses you, He blesses your children and your grandchildren. This is a statement you are making today. Right on, Mama. You are making a statement that uh, if there is anyone who had a, a thought of taking away Jacqueline, nobody should try. <laughs> Can only Jackie, you are making a statement. If there is any lady who would tamper with the, your husband, it is done. You are making another statement that I have been with this man, I have been with this woman, but I am still committed to be with him, to be with her. That's the meaning of these celebrations. I am committed to be with him. I am committed to be with her. Come what you may. Kanuni Jacqueline, thank you for keeping the home, even when days were so rough for your husband for this nation. Thank you that you never gave up. Let us clap for each other. Honorable Mama, thank you for not forgetting your wife. Even when days were rough. You know, we had uh, some discussions and there was uh, the issue of uh, renewing the vows. And uh, this being a lawyer, he said, I can't renew the, the vow. We haven't had any problem of renewing. We just affirm them. Let us clap for them. For <laughs> 50 years, now you are, you are being promoted to become consultants. Consultants in conflict resolution. Of course, Honorable Mama, you have been given this law by His Excellency. Conflict resolution in the nations. Now, you help families. Families are dying in conflict. Secondly, you have been called to become consultants in parenting so that you can help others. How do you handle grandchildren? These are the things now you are called to do. But there's another thing you are called to do. You are called to pray for your children and grandchildren. As you slow down from work, you need to get to know all the names of your grandchildren and pray for them one by one. Ask your neighbor, 
if you are given that task, would you handle it? Especially men, it is really hard. <laughs> now you have been called to be more strategic in keeping your legacy. What are you going to do in order to keep your legacy? Your children, your grandchildren, your political legacy. These are the questions that you need to ask yourself. And our golden jubilee is so key because family is the birthplace for the church. Family is the birthplace for the nation. And the family is under attack. May the Lord help us. Before I conclude, let me share with you a story. I shared it uh, uh, some, uh, la, uh, I think last month, where they invited all the married men for a conference. And this conference was totally sponsored and there was even a podium for all the participants. But the qualification to go for this conference is this married man who has never cheated his wife sexually or going with another woman. This was the only qualification. They were expecting 500 participants, only two turned up. Ask your neighbor there, would you qualify if you were invited? Would you qualify? Ask that lady who is married, would you qualify if you are invited? That lady. <laughs> if you don't qualify, then it means there is something to put right in your marriage. And that's why we need such occasions for, for, to forgive us to come together. May the Lord bless us and keep us. May the Lord sustain you. May the Lord bless you and uh, congratulations. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Archbishop of the Province of Church of Uganda, Your Grace, the Most Reverend Dr. Paul Semogele, the Archbishop of Kampala Diocese, my Lord Bishops, the clergy, the Right Honorable Thomas Tayewa, the Speaker, Deputy Speaker, now that I have said it, for the future, and Madame Anita Tayewa, all of you, I think the protocol was uh, presented by Honorable David Bahati. Ladies and gentlemen, um, as Jacqueline and I stand before you today within the hallowed walls of this beautiful new cathedral of All Saints Church in Akasero, we are filled with an overwhelming sense of gratitude and humility. Today, as we renew our vows and offer our thanks to God, we are reminded of the incredible journey we have undertaken together. A journey marked by love and resilience and faith. First and foremost, we wish to extend our deepest gratitude to God the Almighty. His unwavering protection and guidance have been our constant companion through every challenge and triumph. In the moments of joy, His grace has amplified our happiness. And in times of trial, His presence has been a source of strength and comfort. To God, we owe our deepest thanks 
for carrying us through the many challenges we have faced, including Jacqueline's courageous battle with cancer and my own struggles with spinal issues. It is by his grace, it is by his grace that we stand before you today a testament to the power of faith and the resilience of the human spirit. To all of you who have joined us today, your presence is a gift we cherish deeply. Your love, support, and prayers have been pillars of strength for us, especially during the most trying times. Each of you holds a special place in our hearts. For you have journeyed with us, laughed with us, cried with us, and prayed for us. Your friendship and love have been a source of constant encouragement and have played a pivotal role in our lives. As we renew our vows today, we do so not just as an affirmation of our love for each other, but as a testament to the enduring strength of faith, hope, and love. This ceremony is not only about looking back on the 50 years we have shared, but also about looking forward to the future with God as our guide. We are profoundly thankful for the blessings of health, family, and enduring love. Our journey has not, without, we, has not been without its challenges, but through it all, our faith has remained our anchor. Today, as we celebrate this milestone of 50 years in marriage, we are reminded of the beauty of life's journey and the transformative power of love and faith. To everyone here today, thank you for celebrating this moment, this occasion with us. Your presence is a reminder of the goodness that surrounds all of us, the strength of the community, the strength of community, and the boundless love that God showers upon us. As we move forward, hand in hand, heart in heart, we do so with a renewed sense of purpose, with a renewed sense of gratitude, and most importantly, with faith. We would like to extend our heart, uh, heartfelt thanks to the choir. I am holding, uh, my hands are engaged, so I would like to ask my darling here to help me clap for them. Your beautiful voices truly added to the joy and magic of the occasion. We are grateful for your time, your talent, and the de dedication you had because your grace, they have been practicing for, the, for more than a month, and I had the honor and privilege to join them even though I have not been singing for a long time, to enjoy the harmony that they have produced in the voices. So thank you for your dedication in making the day even more special. Thank you for sharing your gift of music with us and your loved ones, our loved ones uh, in this event. Congratulations. Thank you once again, uh, your grace, dear friends, family, for being part of our journey. May we continue to walk in God's light and may his blessings be upon each and every one of us today and always. We had thought, or we had whispered when the Archbishop talked about um, what needs to be done in this cathedral, now that we are here, we had thought that we would do the door, but our son beat us to it, 
the Right Honorable Thomas Taewa, and our other son, Caesar Mulenga, captured all the windows. So it appears, uh, Your Grace, that all that you required We have been struggling, as the Archbishop said, to raise uh, money for Church House. We have made tremendous progress with uh, um, collections, which you have all supported, and from 60 billion, which we owed the Church House, it is now only 12 billion remaining. Although I'm the chairman, I think 90%, maybe 99% of this work has been made by his place, the Archbishop. This couple. So as we continue to struggle with that, to raise another 12 billion that remains, we will add the task of raising more money to complete this this cathedral. And we will talk about how to go about it in an organized way. My sister, my daughter really, um, the KCCA executive director, Dorothy Saka is there. We and Dorothy are going to organize fundraising in the city to cover all that is required outside the church. I have no idea what it is, but uh, Amos, Dr. Amos Nzei is going to do something here. The windows have been done, the door has been done. I can only think of the outside that remains So, since today is a thanksgiving with the Right Honorable Dr. Rugunda, Dr. Mbonye, Chief Justice Emeritus, Bart Katrebe, Honorable Justice um, Ben Odoki, the former Chief Justice of Uganda, and my great teacher. Mr. John Katende, and others. It will be an honor for me to invite you to join hands in this effort to finish the work of God, to make this place ready to be used this year, not beyond. So that is our commitment. Thank you very much for coming. Uh, from here, we will go, as uh, David Bahati said, we will go to celebrate in another um, venue. You are most welcome. Thank you. God bless you. Make a way, it's not official, guys. Yes, I'm going to say it.